What would Dancing in the Streets be without the famous car cruise? That's absolutely right. News 18's David DeLong hopped in one of the cars featured uh, this year, and he shows us uh, how whether you're watching, riding, or uh, whether you're uh, driving in the event, you're sure to have a good time. Whether you like white walls, red walls, hot rods, or muscle cars, there's a little bit of everything for car enthusiasts at Saturday's Dancing in the Streets, including Dayton resident Rob Grimes's 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. It's a 400 cubic inch high compression V8, and with 366 horsepower, straight out of the factory. Grimes says he's owned a few classic cars in his life. He says his favorite ones have been ones that influenced him when he was younger, including people he knew who owned a 62 Pontiac Grand Prix and a 63 Chevy Corvette Stingray. Grimes says when he bought this car, he wasn't looking for one, but the idea came up. Somehow, I got to thinking about my two buddies that had the 69 GTO judges, and I started to focus on that, and found one, and got one, and I'm just really happy with it. My wife's very supportive of it. She seems to really like the car. When I showed it to her on the internet, she says, well, you better go buy that. Grimes is going to be driving his car in this year's cruise. With more than 200 cars expected, Grimes says he is a little worried about the space available, but says it will still be fun. I've done both. I've driven, and I have to say it's more fun to ride, personally, because you don't have to worry about running over anybody still fun but it can be a little tense the car cruise will start saturday at seven david delong news 18. and be sure to catch our live broadcast at dancing in the streets the hour-long show gets underway saturday at six o'clock